about how do you get inspired to do your quilts? How do you choose a quilt pattern? Do you just go to a store and you look at their quilt pattern? Do you say, that's cute, I'll do that one? Do you say, oh, I like that one hanging on the wall, let me have that one? But where do you go just for inspiration? So I wanted to share you with you all my tip, a tip that I use a lot, magazines and catalogs. Because I get this one little catalog and I'll just go ahead and show it to you. I wasn't going to, but I will. I think, I don't know what I ordered in this. I want to think, oh, I know. I ordered a shower curtain for my bathroom. It's called Country Door. Um, they've got kitchen stuff and they've got lots of decor stuff. And they send me these about once a quarter, you know, all kinds of stuff. And one of the things they always put in here are their faux quilts, their faux patchwork quilts. They're made to look like patchwork, but they're not. But that's okay. Because I yank those pages out and keep them in my inspiration notebook. Do you guys have an inspiration notebook? Like I use this one. This is my current one. This came from Kimberbell. Um, I had another one. Um, oh, I don't have it here, but it was a little um lined notebook from a friend of mine in the uk named zoe if you're watching zoe hi sweetheart um and and i just fill them i fill them with notes i fill them with my drawings for us so like right now and everybody should keep their own notebook because you can design your own quilts each and every one of you can so here's one of my sketches i was trying out fabric or trying out colors um for something and like I do pen and ink drawings and I just this one I like because it's got those little dots so I can do it as a grid here you can see part of my page my stuff on Martha's uh, star block so in here I also keep these pages that I rip out of magazines and catalogs look at this one isn't that cute we can do that with build a quilt in fact you can do that if you have build a quilt one or two uh you just need one for this one build a quilt one you can make this and you don't have to make the big quilt you can make a bed runner i love bed runners have you guys ever done bed runners i think they're fantastic because they're like little they're wider than a table runner probably double wide of a table runner or maybe two and a half times a table runner and they go the length of your bed and fall off the sides a little bit and I love them because they add that extra little something to your bedroom, to your decor, or you can put them like on the back of a sofa. You don't have to have a whole, a whole quilt. You just have this runner on the back of the sofa. It looks gorgeous. And so you could do that with something like this and stay tuned because this one, something like this might be coming for Valentine's Day. And then I think I showed you this one in the blog too, stars. I told you guys, star quilts are so stinking popular because they're really easy to do and they're really beautiful but what i would do with this one i would not make it all in blues and whites i know i did the kaleidoscope quilt that way and i loved it but i wouldn't do a whole quilt like that in blues and whites but this one i would do for me i would do this scrappy each and every star would be something different and it would be gorgeous so when i look at stuff like this i go how would i change the color and i might make notes in my notebook about colors I want to try. And then I might go over to the bins and start pulling fabrics and see what goes together. And then I would choose my segments that I need and see, do I have a star that's something like this? Yes, you do. That's just an eight pointed star. So that could be from your Ohio star or from your sawtooth star. But instead, there's just a solid block in the center instead of the um, diamond in the square or the four squares. You would just put a solid in there. And so then I would pull out the coloring sheet for my eight-pointed star, and I would just start practicing with colors and see what I like. Um, and then I might decide, this I'm going to do as a quilt, but I'm only going to do it like um, an oversized throw quilt for the living room. Or I'm going to do it for... Um, the bed in the guest room. Do you have a guest room? Or do you have quilts that you let your guests borrow even if they like 
you have a pullout bed or something like that, or if you let your guests stay in your room and you sleep on the floor, we, you know, we've all done that too, right? Um, because everyone will want to come to your house and sleep under your quilts because they're so beautiful. And there's nothing better than sleeping under a quilt made with love. Wasn't that easy? You never know where you're going to find quilts that inspire you or things that inspire you that aren't quilts, but that could become quilts. So check out those magazines and catalogs that I know you all get. Grab your build a quilt, either the basic set one or the basic set two or both, because with these two sets, there's not many quilts that you can't quilt. Um, with our system. I have lots of videos here on the Sew in Common channel to show you how you piece with your embroidery machine using your embroidery hoop and lots of patterns. We have free patterns over on our website and I'll share that with you uh, right here we go at www.sewincommon.com. Plus you can find also our larger sets for purchase over at the website as well. Until next time everybody, go get quilt inspired. And of course, as always, so life beautiful. Bye for now.